half a million people live unknowingly on top of Campi Flegri, one of Earth's most dangerous supervolcanoes. Yet in 2024, this sleeping giant sent an unprecedented warning. Over 3,000 earthquakes rattled Naples, a 600% surge that scientists say mirrors the days before the last devastating eruption. If the ground beneath an entire city is changing faster than ever recorded, what happens next? And how close is the tipping point? Naples is a city built on layers of history, yet few realize that its foundations rest inside the world's only urban supervolcano caldera. More than 500,000 people live atop this restless ground. Families, businesses, schools, entire neighborhoods woven through the crater's rim. Unlike Yellowstone or Toba, where wilderness surrounds the threat, Campi Flegre's footprint is a patchwork of homes, roads, and apartment blocks. The boundary between ordinary life and geological hazard is almost invisible here. In Pozzuoli, children play in parks that sit above ancient fumaroles. Apartment towers rise where past eruptions once buried entire villages. For many, the volcano is just a backdrop, part of the landscape, not a daily worry. Yet every street, every shop, every hospital in this densely packed zone sits within the caldera's 15-kilometer span. This is not a remote scientific curiosity. It's a living, breathing city layered over a volatile past. The sheer number of people at risk makes Campi Flegri unique among the world's super volcanoes. Nowhere else do so many lives depend on the mood of the earth beneath their feet. The threat here isn't distant or abstract. It's threaded through daily routines, from morning commutes to evening meals. As scientists monitor every tremor and every rise in the ground, half a million residents go about their lives, largely unaware that their city's future may be shaped by forces deep below the pavement. The question is no longer whether a volcano can threaten a city, but how a city learns to live with a volcano directly below. In the past year, Campi Flegre has shattered its own seismic records. By the end of 2024, over 3,000 earthquakes had been logged across the caldera, a staggering 600% increase compared to the long-term annual average. The numbers are not just high, they are unprecedented for this volcanic system in the era of modern monitoring. Seismic catalogs stretching back decades show that until recently, the caldera averaged just a few hundred small quakes per year. Now what used to be a year's worth of tremors can unfold in a matter of weeks. Scientists have watched as the frequency of earthquakes jumped from monthly clusters to daily swarms, with some days registering dozens of separate events. The scale of this jump is not lost on those who monitor the volcano. Each new tremor is tracked, cataloged, and analyzed adding to a data set that grows faster than ever before. The magnitude of the change is clear in the raw numbers. 3,000 quakes in a single year, far surpassing any recent period of unrest. This kind of acceleration has never been recorded at Campi Flegre with such clarity. The implications are serious. For a supervolcano beneath a city, the difference between a few tremors and thousands is not just statistical noise, it is sunt. It is a signal that the ground itself is restless, on a scale unseen in living memory. The surge in seismicity is more than an academic concern. It raises urgent questions about what is driving the unrest and whether the system is approaching a threshold that could affect the lives of half a million people above. Most of the earthquakes shaking Campi Flegre today are not deep, rumbling threats from far below. They cluster in the uppermost kilometer of the crust, right beneath crowded neighborhoods and city streets. This shallow depth is what sets the current crisis apart from past episodes. In the 1980s, swarms would build over months, giving scientists time to watch and warn. Now, the pace has accelerated. What once took months can erupt in just a few weeks, with tremors multiplying day by day. Dr. St Dr. Stefano Carlino, who has tracked the caldera's movements for decades, draws a sharp line between then and now. During the 1982-84 crisis, 
over 16,000 earthquakes rattled the region. But the escalation was gradual, a slow drumbeat of unrest. Today, the tempo is different. Carlino notes that swarms are not only more frequent but also more abrupt, with many quakes striking less than a kilometer below the surface. This matters because shallow quakes are far more likely to disturb the ground above, crack roads and buildings, and trigger changes in the hydrothermal system that sits just beneath the city. The earthquakes are not evenly spread either. They cluster in swarms, bursts of seismic energy that can last hours or days then fade, only to return with even greater intensity. Scientists are especially concerned by the way these swarms now build with little warning, compressing the timeline for response. The shift from slow, deep tremors to rapid, shallow swarms signals a system under new pressures. For researchers like Carlino, this pattern raises red flags, prompting them to look for signs that the ground itself is beginning to deform in response to forces building below. In early 2025, the ground across Campi Flegre began to rise at a rate that left even veteran scientists stunned. GPS and satellite data confirmed an uplift of 8 centimeters in just six weeks, an extraordinary surge for a caldera already known for its restless movements. The Earth here often shifts by a few centimeters each year, but this pace is more than five times the long-term average. At the peak, the central zone was climbing at an annualized rate of 22 centimeters, the fastest recorded since the Brady Seasom crises of the 1980s. This isn't a subtle change. Sidewalks and roads now show fresh cracks. Residents in Pozzuoli report doors sticking and new gaps opening between walls and floors. For geologists, the numbers are clear. The caldera is inflating with a force that can be measured in real time, every millimeter logged by a network of high-precision instruments. The surface itself is moving, pushed upward by pressures building far below. Each centimeter of uplift is a physical record of something stirring underground, a reminder that the landscape is alive, and that what happens beneath the city can reshape it in a matter of weeks. Heat pulses from the Earth's interior are now unmistakable at Campi Flegre. At the Solfatara crater, fumaroles vent steam at 180 degrees Celsius, among the hottest readings ever logged here. These superheated gases don't just raise the temperature of the ground, they carry with them a chemical fingerprint of the activity below. Over the past year, sensors have tracked a steady climb in carbon dioxide and sulfur emissions, both classic markers of magma releasing its volatile contents as it rises. Gas flux measurements from multiple sites show that the volume of carbon dioxide escaping from the caldera has reached levels not seen since the Brady Seaism crises of the 1980s. Sulfur compounds, too, are spiking, pointing to deep magmatic degassing rather than mere surface boiling. But the story doesn't end with gas and heat. Geophysical imaging using seismic tomography and advanced spectroscopy, has captured direct evidence of magma movement at depths of around 10 kilometers. These images reveal pockets of melt and rising fluids, confirming that the unrest at the surface is matched by changes deep underground. The agreement between thermal, chemical, and geophysical signals is rare in the history of Campi Flegre monitoring. For volcanologists, this convergence is a warning. The forces reshaping the ground above are being driven by fresh activity in the magma chamber far below. Professor Giuseppe Di Natale has spent more than three decades studying the restless ground beneath Naples. He remembers the fear and confusion of the 1982 to 84 crisis, when Pozzuoli families were forced from their homes as cracks split the streets and buildings groaned under shifting earth. Now, faced with the current acceleration, De Natale's warning is sharper than ever. In a recent interview, he stated, if this caldera were located in a less populated area, preventive evacuation procedures would have been initiated months ago. His words cut through political debate and bureaucratic caution. For De Natale, the science is clear. 
The patterns of deformation and seismic activity now unfolding have not been seen in 40 years. The dilemma is not about whether the data justify action, but whether the sheer density of people above the caldera makes evacuation unthinkable. Behind closed doors, scientists and civil protection officials weigh the risk of waiting against the chaos of moving half a million people. Danatal's private logs, filled with hand-drawn maps and daily measurements, reflect a personal struggle to balance scientific duty and public safety. The question is no longer academic. When an expert of his stature calls for action, the stakes become painfully human. Lives, homes, and the future of an entire city hanging in the balance. In the autumn of 1538, the ground near Pozzuoli began to tremble with a violence the region had not seen in centuries. Over eight relentless days, the earth split open, and Monte Nuovo, the new mountain, rose from farmland to a height of 143 meters, its slope still steaming as dawn broke. Eyewitnesses wrote of days turned to night beneath a rain of ash and fire, Cattle stampeded through choking darkness, and terrified villagers fell to their knees, convinced the world was ending. The city of Tripergole vanished beneath the new cone, its streets and churches erased in hours. 24 villages were buried, and nearly 4,000 people lost their lives before the eruption ceased. Letters from priests and merchants described the bay boiling. Ships tossed ashore in a sulfurous haze that lingered for weeks. The eruption did not begin with warning sirens or scientific forecasts. Ordinary life gave way to chaos in a matter of days. A reminder that Campi Flegre's quiet centuries can end in sudden, catastrophic violence. The scars of Monte Nuovo remain, etched into the landscape and the memory of a region that knows how swiftly the earth can turn against its inhabitants. Deep beneath the neighborhoods and city streets, Campi Flegre operates like a vast subterranean pressure cooker. The engine of its unrest is not just molten rock, but a dynamic system of superheated water and gas trapped beneath a thick, low permeability cap rock. As magma releases heat and volatile gases at depth, these fluids migrate upward, accumulating in a shallow reservoir beneath the surface. The cap rock acts as a seal, holding back the growing pressure much like the lid on a steam cooker. Over weeks or months, confined fluids expand, raising the pour pressure until the ground above begins to bulge, measurable as bradycism or ground uplift. When the cap rock finally fractures under strain, pressure is released in a burst of seismic swarms and sometimes visible ground cracking. Laboratory studies show that as these fluids cool and decompress, minerals precipitate out, resealing the cap rock and setting the stage for the next cycle. This process of sealing and rupture drives the caldera's inflation and subsidence, making every millimeter of uplift a critical warning sign. Monitoring these subtle shifts is the only way to track whether the system is quietly recharging or approaching a sudden release. Campi Flegre's true scale is almost impossible to grasp from street level. The caldera stretches 15 kilometers across, wider than the city of Naples itself. In past eruptions, ash from this basin has blanketed up to 30,000 square kilometers, reaching beyond southern Italy and touching distant coastlines. Such reach turns a local hazard into a regional threat. And it's this potential that drives the urgency behind every scientific decision here. To match the risk, the monitoring effort is nothing short of extraordinary. Over 50 seismic and geodetic stations form a dense web across the caldera, each feeding real-time data to the Vesuvius Observatory's control center. The system tracks ground movement with millimeter precision, picks up the faintest tremors, and samples volcanic gases from vents like Solfatara around the clock. The network is the product of a 15 million euro investment, one of the largest of its kind for any volcano worldwide. Professor Francesca Bianco, director of the observatory, oversees this operation. Under her leadership, the team works in shifts, analyzing thousands of data points each day, 
searching for patterns that could signal escalation. Their vigilance is the front line, an attempt to see the next crisis coming before it arrives. Forecasting the future of Campy Flegre is a challenge even for the most seasoned experts. Probabilistic models developed by Italian and international teams analyze every tremor, every rise in the ground, searching for patterns that might point to what comes next. Yet the science remains clear on one point. No one can say with certainty whether the volcano will erupt within the next year or even by the end of 2026. The Italian Civil Protection Agency continues to operate under a heightened state of alert, but official bulletins stop short of predicting an eruption in any specific window. Most Brady seismic crises at Campi Flegre have ended without eruption, though the current acceleration in seismic and ground deformation is unlike anything seen in decades. The clock is ticking, but its pace is uncertain. For now, the only certainty is that vigilance and preparedness are the best defenses against a future that remains stubbornly unpredictable. Campi Flegre's restless behavior draws the attention of scientists far beyond Italy. For researchers like Dr. Christopher Kilburn at University College London, the caldera is not just a local threat, it's a global laboratory. Data collected here feed directly into international models for other supervolcanoes including Yellowstone in the United States and Toba in Indonesia. The dense web of monitoring instruments at Campi Flegre, over 50 seismic and gas stations, offers a level of detail rarely matched elsewhere. When ground deformation or gas surges are detected in Naples, those patterns are compared with signals from supervolcanoes on other continents. Lessons learned from each uplift, each earthquake swarm, help refine the world's understanding of how these massive systems behave before eruption. Kilburn and his colleagues use this information to test and improve early warning systems for volcanic crises worldwide. In this way, the fate of Naples is intertwined with efforts to predict and prepare for eruptions that could one day affect millions, not just in Italy, but across the globe. If Campi Flegre erupts at full force, the aftermath would reach far beyond Naples. Ash could pile meters deep across the city's streets, weighing down rooftops and snapping power lines. Roads, railways, and airports would vanish under gray drifts, halting escape and relief. Water and electricity could fail for weeks, leaving hundreds of thousands stranded. Hospitals and emergency services already stretched thin might go dark just when they're needed most across Across southern Italy, crops and livestock would suffer under a toxic rain, threatening food supplies and livelihoods. Even global skies wouldn't be safe. Ash clouds can ground flights, while fine particles in the upper atmosphere could cool the planet, disrupting weather and harvests far from Italy. These are not distant hypotheticals. They are the real consequences scientists prepare for. What do you think? Will Campi Flegre erupt in our lifetime, or will the city continue to live on borrowed time? Share your thoughts below. In 2024 alone, over 3,000 earthquakes shook Campi Flegre, a 600% increase compared to baseline years. The ground beneath Naples has risen by 8 centimeters in just 6 weeks, and gas emissions at Solfaterra Crater have reached 180 degrees Celsius. These changes mirror signals documented before the 1538 eruption, which destroyed 24 villages and cost 4,000 lives. Despite a 15 million euro monitoring system and round-the-clock observation, experts like Professor Giuseppe Di Natale confirm that no current model can pinpoint if or when an eruption will happen. Key questions remain. Will the pressure beneath the 15-kilometer-wide caldera continue to build? Or will the system stabilize, as it has in decades past? What is certain is that Campi Flegre is under closer scrutiny than ever, and the data collected here will inform how scientists worldwide understand supervolcanoes. As of now, the volcano's true intentions remain unknown, reminding us that in the shadow of the caldera, vigilance is essential.